I'm in Salad and I saw Pokemon the movie The Rise of Darkrai. It is directed by Kunihiku Yuyama. This is the 10th Pokemon movie. And they've all been directed by Kunihiku Yuyama. Congratulations. Wow, I can't believe it. It's getting really stormy out here. Must be Darkrai around. Just wanted to let you know because if it gets super bright, I guess all squinty, it's my light sensitivity. Just wanted to let you that know it's just a condition of my autism. If you haven't seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. The movie starts, we're getting a backstory on the d dimension that's in between dimension space. I find this to be really cool. The design of like the black and white and it looks all like warbly. I like that a lot. And I like how Dialga and Palkia are often 3D animated it, until they're like doing attack shots and they got the zoom on the eyes, like, Vroom, vroom. Like, I notice it's a lot of, um, I would say a lot of sweeping anime shots is probably the best I can describe this because it, it's the body of Dial Dialga and then close into the eye of Dialga and then back out and then he does an attack and it goes vroom. And you know, he's fighting with Palkia. And I really like this. This is the first thing yet I noticed because I was like, oh man, I'm so excited to see what happens. They're fighting and it causes some, what seems to be ripple effects, ripple effects throughout time and space. That's probably the closest thing that I can compare it to because oh my goodness gracious, the cause and real world implications like gusts of wind, okay? Ash and friends are here. Ash, Brock has returned. And we have Dawn. My first exposure to the Pokemon anime series was during Generation 4 with Dawn as the main character. And you know, Dawn has a really cool design. I like her scarf. Her personality, she's kind, but she's kind of uh, ditzy. She's, uh, honestly, I want to see the, her arc throughout the movies before giving her like a tier list rating, but I still think Misty is best girl still. Okay, let's continue on with the movie. Nightmares, not good. Especially when you have a cool effect of just a bunch of shadows everywhere, kind of like this. It gets really windy too. Wow, Darkrai must be near. Oh man, I, I'm scared. Okay, Darkrai comes up in a shadow is like, I'm gonna get you. Puts Ash in a ball, in like a sleepy ball. Ash goes through this nightmare. He sees this really trippy, like a really, really trippy pink streak dream. Like it went really fast for me to actually know what it was supposed to represent. Ah, uh, Ash was also spooked, which makes sense. I'm a big fan of Ash being like, oh man, I'm open to any and all experiences. So when Darkrai comes back and Ash is like, hey, what's up with you, man? Why are you bad? Why are you not having fun? Everyone hates Darkrai. Oh, totally makes sense. We got a bunch of mysteries like, oh, Darkrai causes nightmares. Even near the Pokemon that Darkrai is near, some Pokemon just want to stay away from Darkrai. And it's like, wait, what was the context that Darkrai was in in order to cause those nightmares to those Pokemon? There's some flashbacks that a bunch of Pokemon are fighting Darkrai. Why are they fighting Darkrai? Is it because Darkrai is an intruder? Why did Darkrai intrude? We don't know the full context here, okay? It just seems like a bunch of people just prematurely judging and there's a guy who's also just really handsome dude guy who has a sash across his uh, chest. He's like, oh, it must be Darkrai. Oh, Darkrai is the root of all of my problems. And I'm like, I don't know if it is. Please, Darkrai. Please, uh, if you're bad at communicating, I totally understand. I have communication issues too. So you might be misunderstood which then I can relate to you, Darkrai. But Darkrai has opened up to a woman. She's a really nice woman. She's like, hey, Darkrai, you can be here. 
All this was in the past, mind you. This was the grandfather of now Alice, who's supposed to marry that guy who thinks Darkrai is the root of all evils. Uh, his name, his name's gonna be a Sir Man. He's the Sir Redcoat Man. Yes, that's totally his name. A Pokemon official name right there. But Darkrai is not the root of all of these evils happening and occurring. It's actually something else, and Darkrai notices this something else, and it's like, hey, come on, I want you to leave, and he throws like balls up the sky, and I'm like, wait, hold on, what is happening? There's this fancy zoom and enhance technology, because there's some dudes monitoring the levels, the supernatural levels, the level of science, levels of magic and science and stuff that happens throughout the movie. I don't know all the specifics, but I do know that it's monitored on a graph and there's some zoom and enhance features. Oh, zoom into this white blur. Okay, now zoom and enhance, zoom and enhance. And then it's just like Palkia. And I'm like, wait, you found a Palkia within all the just white or pink or whatever color data that you have? Man, this is a miracle computer that I want to have. I want to uncover secrets within the pixels of all my JPEGs. Are there hidden gifts that the computers are trying to give me? Come on, why don't th those exist in the comments? Do you guys want that too? That sounds like a brilliant future. So anyway, Palkia is here now. Palkia is injured. Palkia, turns out, made this entire city just super foggy and then now it's in its own dimension. We gotta figure out why Palkia has done this. Palkia's injured. Palkia doesn't want to fight no more. I totally get that. Palkia, you're my friend. I played Diamond first, but that was my introductory game. Palkia is the real homie. Oh man, I was looking at the size comparison between Palkia and Dialga, and Palkia is smaller, but Palkia is cooler because it has wings and it has like two uh, pearl guard things. Palkia is such a cool Pokemon. Palkia is, super uh, is superior to Dialga, and I don't like that Dialga and Palkia are fighting. Also, they're not supposed to meet. There's a whole like story on that. Uh, those were quotations. These are quotations. These are the proper quotations. Anyway, Palkia injured. Dialga comes and uh oh, looks like Palkia and Dialga are fighting again. And each time they have a blast, they go Pah! You know what happens? Uh oh, Palkia, more like Palkia gone with the city because the city gets smaller yeah that, that totally worked Palkia Dialga keep fighting there's a race to get up to there's the towers did I mention there's towers yeah there's towers to commemorate these two deities we have space tower and time tower forget which which side they're on they gotta go to the middle to play the song Turns out, Alice knows the song because the grandmother taught it to her. They knew all along this was going to happen someday. So it's prepared Alice, which is good. Good job. A good preparation. Good multi-generational preparation. Man, that is incredibly responsible. Good on you, uh, uh, Grandma Alice. Uh, Alicia, is that, it's, it's a similar to Alice, but it's not quite that. I forgot her name. I feel bad, but she's old and probably dead, uh, but she's a good grandmother while she lived. Darkrai is just so misunderstood. Darkrai even sacrifices himself in the name of saving the city by having himself take the a, a blast, hold it within like a big old circle. The circle goes small, gives some time for Ash and Alice to go up to the tower, play it. Uh oh, there's no electricity, looks like parachute. A, a, pa a, pa a para, para, ooh. Pachirisu. What's that Pokemon name? It's a squirrel. It's a squirrel, electric, electric squirrel. And then Pokemon, uh, Pikachu. <laughs> Pikachu and Parashu. Uh, yeah. So yeah, they, they're making it go electrified, electrified. And then, oh, there's a song that calms these deities down. I like the song. I'm like, oh man. Is this like some sort of magical Pokemon song? 
It was demonstrated earlier that it calms like a bunch of Pokemon down. It calms these dudes down. They just needed some sort of chilly, chill song. The thing about Pokia is like, hey, well, we're gonna stop and now everything's gonna heal. Healing power commence. And then the city is back. Dialga and Palkia are chill. And then they go bye bye. Bye bye. Have a nice time. Ash and friends, they get the regained confidence. I really like how Dawn is not in it at all that much. She's kind of there. She's not really there that much. She's kind of just a side character. But Ash, oh my goodness, Ash is so brave. Every movie that I watch of Pokemon just makes me really want to be Ash's friend some more because he's just like a resilient fellow. He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna keep going no matter what people tell me, no matter what. Darkrai is actually a true homie. Darkrai comes back from being dissolved after the dimension was put back. Also, did I mention, you know, the nightmares? Yeah, a bunch of nightmares happen. Why do they happen? Well, Darkrai puts a bunch of Pokemon to Nightmare Realm. Why? Well, those Pokemon were attacking him. Wouldn't you take them to Nightmare Realm if you were Darkrai? Yeah, Darkrai just attacks people because people are attacking him. Man, I really like Darkrai. Darkrai's a cool fellow. Darkrai, I want to be your friend, Darkrai. Oh man, Darkrai. Cool, homie, Darkrai. All right, that's how the movie ends, okay? Colorful. I gotta mention, a lot of the characters in the Pokemon were 2D animated, but also a lot of like the building shots, 3D animated. I like the sweeping cameras when it does come to the 3D animations. They utilize it well in like using a lot of like the same model uh, and a couple of frames throughout the movie to kind of establish a scene. I like it. Also, whenever Pokemon are interacting with like they have to do something smooth, then they're a 3D model. Like you have a moment Pikachu is a 3D model when he's like going into the black hole where Darkrai is taking them. You know, that scene, I like that. I like how the colorful it is. Even when it's very dark, there are still moments of color, which is very nice. Darkrai is just misunderstood. And all of the highlight, uh, the flashback scenes, that's what they're called, the flashback scenes, they are yellow, so you can definitely tell when a thing is flashback when we're in the past. And so, I was engaged with the story. I like Darkrai. Darkrai is a cool guy. I gotta give this movie like a solid 6.7 out of 10. If you like this review, be sure to like and watch another movie review because YouTube likes that. Also, subscribe if you like. The ultimate goal of this channel is for me to become an expert movie reviewer, so if I haven't reviewed it on the channel, there's a chance I haven't even seen it at all. If you'd like to request a movie in the comments below, you can do that, or you can fast track a movie review request at patreon.com slash ASUPresents. $20 a month for one movie review per one month, $3 a month for 250 vlogs that are up there right now, but also the how to draw Pokemon tutorials will be posted there early on patreon.com slash ASCPresents. And if you'd like to help support the daily grindiness of all these daily movie reviews, you can go to my free to follow Fansly. That is my main way you can help me with the daily grindiness of all these daily movie reviews. So you can go here. And until next time, I'm in salad sauce. See you later, my salad croutons and bacon bits.